What I like about Zagreb is its resilience. Despite the overall devastation that happened in the post-socialist period, small-scale but vigorous forces gave shape to its cultural and intellectual life. The legacy of the avant-garde city of the 60s continued into the 21st century with the establishment of the Subversive Festival that celebrated the 40th anniversary of the protests of 1968. Another bastion of civic disobedience is Pravo na Grad, Zagreb's right to the city movement, an initiative engaged in advocacy against the economic overexploitation of spatial resources and in the disenfranchisement of citizens in city planning processes. Zagreb is a city where the majority of its citizens still show their growing desertion of political participation in civic life. Nowadays, directly faced with the refugee crisis, Zagreb is heedlessly becoming a frontline city of the European borderline regime. As a curator and architect, I see myself as the exhibition maker, one who creates uncertain, fragile environments. I'm interested in polyphony and dialogue, in producing multiple realities, from infiltration to engagement. I'm focused on process-based, transmedia artistic practices that are not directly applicable, do not present immediate solutions, but continue to resonate in time. Succeeding the transformative demographic shifts and migration flows of present times in Europe, the urgency of Octopolis is to produce an environment of conceivable coexistences in the city of Zagreb. Its fundamental task is to enable a hybridization of identities to offer space for understanding the existential condition of an individual and society at large, a sense of universal belonging.